Hi, and welcome back to Photo News TV. I'm your host, Will Prentice. Today, I've got a special guest for you, Phil Nielsen. Phil is the brand manager for consumable products, which is papers, inks, canvases at Amplis Photo. All right, so let's talk about Canvas, Phil. What can you tell me about Canvas? Okay, well, Canvas has traditionally been a, a fine art medium that people love to paint on. It's incredibly popular. Um, artists, it's a real toss-up. Most artists prefer Canvas to paper, uh, and it's quite frankly the same in photography. And now that inkjet printers have progressed to the point that it's easy to print on Canvas, it then comes down to some choices that you've got. First off, the canvas is uh, like a traditional canvas that you would paint on. Uh, there's a gesso coating on it, uh, and the gesso kind of fills in the little peaks and troughs of the canvas, which is natural to it, the texture. What it also will do is cover up any little imperfections. And in particular, if you're using 100% cotton canvas, little cotton seeds or little bumps to it, um, I consider it a natural part of it, Many customers look at that and say, oh, that's a defect in it. Really isn't, but the gesso will cover up a lot of that. On top of the gesso is an ink receptive coating, the same that we've put on a fine art paper that allows the ink from your printer to stay on the canvas, give you extremely high quality, color saturation, and fidelity. So all your fine details still show up Absolutely, on absolutely. Perfect. There are a couple of choices in canvas. There's uh, matte canvas, there's glossy canvas, and uh, some companies actually manufacture a satin canvas, which is sort of in between. Hanna Mule's done it a little bit differently. They've got two real canvas types, matte canvas and glossy canvas, and they've really taken a twist and added a metallic canvas, and I'll show you that momentarily. Oh, I love metallic. Not Metallica, the band, just Metallic oh. Canvas. <laughs> um, this is the Monet Canvas from Hanamiol, and if I flip it over, you'll see that it's got a very warm base color to it. Yeah. This is 100% cotton canvas. You won't be able to see it too, too much on the video, but it actually is a little bit more textured than the next one I'm going to show you, which is their Daguerre Canvas. First, let's look at the base color between the two of them. You can, as with yeah. the paper, see a fairly dramatic difference doesn't show as much on the surface because of that gesso coating okay. to it, but well, they're certainly look whiter than on exactly. The surface. Okay. Here's the difference between the two of them. You can see the difference in the whiteness where Daguerre is actually whiter and you'll be able to see it, although our viewers won't, the Daguerre is actually a smoother canvas as well. Yeah. From a weight point of view, we're talking about 400 grams per square meter. And in our discussion so far, this is the first time that I've actually brought up that term. Uh, it's actually the weight of the material, not the thickness of it, okay. but it will somewhat dictate how thick the canvas is based on the actual weight. So for a square meter of the canvas, it weighs 400 grams. Exactly. Now, in this particular case, it's cotton or poly cotton I should say so it's a blend mm -hmm. of polyester and cotton where the Monet was a hundred percent cotton. Oh, and the Monet I noticed is 410 grams per square meter. Correct. So slightly heavier. Slightly heavier. Based on the exact same area. Exactly. Now one of the other things that happens with canvas you'll see that I'm holding it and it kind of flops right over. Yeah. Even though it's got a very heavy weight to it uh, because it is based on canvas there's a fair bit of flex to it. You may have a little bit of difficulty sometimes feeding that into your printer. And if you ever do, there's a little trick that you can use. Just sandwich it with a sheet of plain paper on the back. Mm -hmm. Even a piece of photocopy paper will have more stiffness than this piece of canvas. Yeah. And that will help your uh, printer transport it through. Oh, that's a great tip. So between the two of them, you'll also see that the Monet isn't quite as floppy yeah, as the Daguerre. A it's a little stiffer, even though uh, it's only 10 grams per square meter higher weight, uh, it is considerably stiffer canvas. And that's the, the actual nature of the, uh, the makeup of it being 100% cotton. The third choice that we have from Hanna Mule is their Leonardo canvas, and that's a gloss canvas. And you'll see that. The image is very reflective and shiny. It is. So that may not be preferable for, again, as we talked about earlier, the viewing conditions that you have in your home or your studio or wherever it's going to be displayed. Some people love this, some people don't. Yep, it, depends it's, on the image. Exactly. 
The last choice, and this is a very unique product, is the Hanamule Metallic or Canvas Metallic, as Not they the refer metallic, to it. The metallic. Exactly, you got it. This is great. Uh, very unusual product. Uh, Hanamule was the first in the world to come out with a metallic canvas. Uh, and where this comes into play is pieces of art. Uh, it's a very popular way uh, for artists nowadays to do art reproductions. Mm -hmm. They do one painting and then replicate it onto canvas, uh, the process being referred to uh, as gicle. Mm -hmm. um, and that applies to both print uh, making and canvas reproduction. But a gicle canvas, uh, if you've got something like metallic colors in your canvas, and a number of artists will work with something like gold leaf on it. Uh, think Gustav Klimt, for example, or this mm -hmm. particular artist here. Um, you can actually reproduce that. I did a show a couple of years ago in the US, just when Hanamule was introducing this, had a photographer from uh, Alberta come up to me, pulls out his iPhone, shows me an image of a Porsche racing car, which is bright, bright yellow on a darkish background on the track. And he says, I want this image printed on that canvas. Oh yeah, the yellow it, would. It would just pop right off yeah. of it. So very, very interesting choice. One of my new favorites and unusual in the marketplace. And, and I love the canvas metallic with my HDR landscape. Absolutely. The sky really pops. That it will. Blues are really nicely saturated and fall colors look absolutely stunning on the metallic. Absolutely they do. It's almost like you can walk into the image because everything's so reflective. And Precisely. Think uh, HDR images, uh, think something like Northern Lights where you've got those bright greens and oh, blues. Yeah. They'd look fantastic. Road trip. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. So on a full size image, here's your comparison. I've got a matte image, and as I kind of move it around, you'll be getting a reflection off the back one, which is a glossy image. So the matte canvas or the glossy canvas, really, again, the choice is up to you. Yep. In this particular case, what do you do with a canvas once, once you have it? Well, you can take this and pin it to the wall, but that wouldn't really look too particularly good. So you want to do what canvases um, typically been displayed on over the years, and that's to actually stretch the canvas. Some people will just mount that on masonite. Yep. Uh, it is certainly a possibility. Or you can stretch it, and there's your finished product. But do try canvas. It's a great medium to display your images. A lot of intrigue to it. People love the texture of it. And it really does look like a painting. And particularly if you've done anything in Photoshop where you've made your artwork uh, look like a bit of a watercolor painting or whatever, um, canvas is a great way to display it. Hmm. Cool. Well, I'll have to certainly print some more. There we go. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more, hit the subscribe link up here. And we've got more stuff coming, lots more to talk about with Bill. Also, don't forget to click the little like button down below. Show us a little bit of love. We'll see you next episode. Happy printing.